At every band competition I have attended since the early 90s, I have been so impressed with every facet of our award-winning band program. I would often notice the crowd, particularly that part of the crowd from other, the other schools competed in Gastadera County. Comment after comment such as, I thought we did great until I saw Adair perform, or where the heck is Adair County anyway? The most impressive thing to watch is something that folks just can't seem to control, body language. From the time Adair begins to take the field, the crowd falls into an eerie, unnatural silence. All conversation stops and the involuntary awe and silence pay the highest respect to a program of now mythical proportions. These and many other observations inspired me to write this tribute poem simply called Adair. A hush falls over the crowd. The murmurs dwindle away. There they are, stately standing in their unique, confident way. Anticipation has peaked. It's the law before the storm. Somehow one gets the feeling a hurricane is being born. Then it begins in a flurry of marching feet and clenched fists. The crowd draws a hurried breath, each one glued to where he sits. Yes, yes, a dare has arrived. They are now taking the field. Each soldier, practiced and proud, stands on legs of twisted steel. Thunder rolls and rolls from drums as they move from place to place. Saxophones and clarinets bring melodies before my face. Intensity grows with every step. Trumpets blare and tubas blow, every bone and every muscle exploding into crescendo. Then silence leaps from the field as gliding feet continue to move. Now they blast to the finish as only great bands can do. The audience begins to breathe. For now they're finished, they're done. Everyone knows deep inside this band is still number one. The judges at each other look, they stare with admiration. Adair might be, could be, the best band in the nation.